congrats. You know, I know uh, you were the uh, minor league uh, player of the year. I mean, what's that mean to get that? It's awesome. I think, you know, I was looking on the award yesterday and just the other guys that were on the award with, uh, you know, last year Kazi won it and then Jay Bruce won it a couple years ago. And you look way back and uh, I think Kearns and Dunn won it. It's just, you know, good company to be in. And, I'm just glad I can be part of that. I'm probably going to ask you the question that most people keep asking you. What do you think clicked so much for you uh, this last year? I think it was just a matter of uh, you know me not getting having a better approach to uh, playing every day and you know knowing what to expect. And I think I sort of just let things come to me instead of trying to do too much at times, which I got cut up with in the past. So you know I'm happy with uh, the results and look forward to next year. Yeah, what, and what are your goals, would you say, for next year? You know, if, if you could sit here this time next year, where would you like to say you, you are? You know, uh, I feel like I'm, I'm getting pretty close to being ready to be in the big leagues. I think for me, the uh, the main thing is just consistency. You got to, it's got to be day, every day. You got to, you know, bring the best you can. And I think, you know, now it's, I can be consistent for a week, but I think uh, next year in the, upcoming years it's got to be a month at a time or you know the full season at some point how hard is it just coming right out of high school you know and obviously your number one pick so everyone's kind of eyeing seeing what you're doing a little bit down there you're playing with older guys you know you're kind of maturing uh, as you grow up how hard is that to to get that yeah I think you know definitely maturity also factored in this season and it's just something that uh you know it takes time it's uh you're not just going to jump in you know, there's guys that do jump in and just do well. But for me, you know, it sort of took a while to get my bearings and figure the way things out that I got to approach the game. But, you know, once I did, I think things are really starting to show, uh, you know, how I can play. Yeah. The Reds, you know, have a stacked pitching core. And, I mean, that, that goes deep. That's not just in the majors but the minors too. Uh, what impresses you? Is there anyone who stands out who, or anyone you haven't caught yet to go, wow, I can't wait to catch that guy? You know, I've caught – most of the guys in spring training, whether it was a bullpen session or something, but uh, in out in the fall in uh, last year, I caught Leak, and it, he was just really impressive. Coming out of uh, college, you know, it was his first, I think it was his first bullpen that I ever caught, and he, uh, I, I told our pitching coach, what's he got to work on? He's, you know, he's got everything figured out. He can do everything, and you just don't see that, especially, you know, right out of high school. It takes big league guys years to figure that out, so... He, it, it was just impressive to see, you know, what he could do with the ball, and I think it, it'd be fun to catch him in the game, just because, you know, heck, he can throw anything at any time, just mess with guys' heads, you know. Yeah. One more. What's what's catching Chapman like? I mean, is that? Oh, it, it's it's wild. He's got, I mean, amazing stuff. It's it's really really challenging to catch, you know, especially a slider. It's really really sharp, and you know, at 90 miles an hour, which that's where guys throw most of their fastball so it's uh it's cool but you know I caught him in spring training and he, he you could tell how much he's improved since then and to the end of the year he really he had a pretty good idea where the ball was going and could hit his spots pretty darn well